What is going on everyone? My name is the California Cougar and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red Team Venusaur Edition. Last time we went through the SSM, we got the HM for cut, defeated our rival, and now we are at Diglett's Cave. So, let's see, who do I got up in the lead here? Yeah, it's been a while since I recorded the last part. Okay. I'm not sure. I guess I'll throw Ivysaur out there. I'm not sure who the least likely to kill is. Yeah, I guess I'll throw Ivysaur out there. Anyway. So, yes, we're going to go through Diglett's Cave here. <clears throat> and there are wild Pokemon in this cave, and I'm sure you guys will be able to guess what the Pokemon will be. Yes, it's Diglett's Cave. Obviously, we're going to run into Diglett. So, yeah. Diglett can be a tough Pokemon to catch. Go ahead and Leech Seed him. Oh, my God. He's faster than me. God, my Venus. My Ivysaur is so slow. Like, yeah. All right. And it used Dig on me. We'll go ahead and... Now I'm faster. Okay, then. Game. Magnitude. Yeah, that's an annoying move to get hit by, especially Magnitude 8. That's going to do a lot of damage. Oh my god. Is he gonna, Is he really about to kill my Ivysaur here? Yeah, give me that HP back, little bitch. Let's go ahead and put him to sleep. I should have done that first. Magnitude 6. That shouldn't kill me. Okay. Good. And he's asleep now. All right. Now we can start throwing Pokeballs at him. Yeah, I pro I could have caught this off camera, but I just wanted to show you guys like what we could find here. It's Diglett's Cave. It should have been obvious. Oh well. All right, so we'll throw a Pokeball at him. Hopefully, we can catch him first try. Nice. All right. So we got ourselves a Diglett. Okay, no, I'm not going to give a nickname to him. Yeah, we have Dig on him, which is useful. Like, I forgot to mention this about Dig. Dig is useful for uh, getting out of caves. What was I trying to do here? Oh, I was meant to use a repel. That's right. Yeah, we're going to use a repel so that we can get away from here. Or we don't run into any more of them. Because if we do run into them, there's a good chance we won't be able to run away. Diglett has this annoying ability called Arena Trap. What that does is basically, I think unless you're a flying type Pokemon, then, or like a Pokemon with the Levitate ability or something like that, I think you can't, like it means you can't escape. So yeah, it's always good to have repels coming through here. Alright, anyway... Yeah, we're going to get a chance to use Cut real quick. Let's see, is this the guy that gives us what I want? No, okay. It looks just like him. This guy, however, he's looking for an Abra, so we are going to give... We're going to say goodbye to our Abra here. And he's going to give us a Mr. Mime, which is another Psychic-type Pokemon. A pretty good Psychic-type Pokemon, although he's ugly as hell. So if you can get past his ugliness... Then he's actually a decent member of any team if you need a psychic type on your team. But for our purposes, we're not going to add him to our team. He's going to be. He's just another Pokedex number. Alright, and Mimian is his name. I forgot to mention, like, all of the traded Pokemon that you get have nicknames, and you can't change them, which I think is really stupid, but. Yeah. Although, to make up for that. Yeah, we're going to use Cut here. This is the first time we're going to use Cut. And that's what happens. Alright, but yeah. To make up for that, like, you get more experience by battling with traded Pokemon. This guy is the one that... Yes, okay. Ten species. He, give us, he gives us a reward. And yes, we have 27. And this is where we get the HM for Flash. You only really need it once, I think, in the entire game. Oh, I didn't even know I could use the bike here. Okay. Alright. 
Anyway, there's a couple more items you can come down here and get in Route 2. So, yeah, that's it. Okay. Alright, so that's it for this route. Now we can go back through Diglett's Cave and we'll just get back. Yeah, that's the other thing about the trees is they respawn when you leave an area or enter a building. It's really stupid. Also, I should teach Meowth Flash as well. Alright, here we go. Ooh, he can learn Flash too, but we're going to teach it to Meowth. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter what move I get rid of, because this is the only purpose using now. Alright. So, yes. Yeah, and this is why I like using Meowth as an HM slave, because he has not only does he have the pickup ability, but he can learn cut and flash, which are two HMs useful for earlier in early in the game. And then the HMs become more useful as you get them later in the game. Alright, anyway, let's go ahead and get a repel up here. I only have two repels left, I'm gonna have to buy more. Alright. So yeah, unfortunately now we can't use teleport anymore because we don't have our Abra anymore. So I can't just teleport back to Vermilion because I traded him away, but no big deal. We'll just go back to Diglett's Cave. There's also a chance you can run into Dugtrio here, but it's super rare. Like It's like a 5% encounter rate. And actually, I could have run into Dugtrio despite using a Repel, because Dugtrio spawns at either level 29 or 31. So yeah. Alright, anyway. At this point, I think... We'll just heal up our Pokemon, we'll drop some stuff in the PC. Drop our unneeded pokes in the PC, and then we can take on the Vermilion Gym. So, yeah. Alright, so I'll go ahead and go to Bill's PC, deposit our unneeded Pokemon. Don't need Mr. Mime, don't really need Diglett. Yeah. We, will, we do need Mouth, though, because we actually do need Cut to get into the gym. Alright. Anyway, so yes, you go down here, you cut this tree down, that gives you access to the gym. And yeah, you do need to, that's why you need to go on the SSN first before you take on the gym. Alright, let's see, is Ivysaur still in the lead? Yes, good. I think a few trainers in here have Magnemites, but oh, this guy might not. Let's fight this guy first. Yeah, there's three trainers in this gym, so we'll just take them all on. Pikachu, alright. Please tell me you're faster. Oh my god. This Ivysaur is so slow, you would think it would have a minus speed nature. But it doesn't. Oh my god, and he didn't even die. Thank you for not using double team, though. That would be incredibly annoying. Alright. So now he's going to use another Pikachu. I'm going to leech seed this one in case this one decides to double team. Thunder Wave, you're a little bitch. That's annoying. Oh my god, dude. That's insane. I have horrible luck with paralysis in this game. Yeah, see? Look at this. Look at this. Sh look at this shiz. Try not to curse. That is nonsense. Little bastard. Thankfully I got the leech seed off. So he's dead no matter what. Even, yeah, you can quick attack me all you want, you little bitch. Yeah, that's right. And of course I get the useless crit. So yeah, it's always a good idea to have paralyzed heals. Okay. So I'll go ahead and use a paralyzed heal. Yeah, I have four of them. Okay. Now, let's talk to this guy. Okay, this guy's got a Voltorb. Uh, 
so I'm gonna razor leaf him. He's gonna use tackle. I'm glad he didn't use Sonic Boom there. Yeah, like I said earlier, Sonic Boom is a move that does 20 damage no matter what. So it always knocks off 20 HP. I do kind of wish I had another attacking move besides Razor Leaf. But, I mean, it's useful to whittle his HP down with some of these moves. Alright, level 27. Now I can switch Pokemon. And unfortunately, I do have to switch to Simon for this. I'd much rather save Simon's energy for the actual gym leader. And yes, in case you didn't already know, this guy, or this gym, is an electric type gym. So, you're going to be running into electric type Pokemon. So yes, a ground type is very useful here. Yeah, in fact, if you're having trouble with this gym, go get a Diglett out of Diglett's cave. Diglett can make short work of every Pokemon in this gym. Alright, anyway. Yeah, I guess I'll keep him up front for this guy. I think this guy just has one Pokemon. I think it's a Pikachu. Alright, yes, it's just a Pikachu, and it's level 23, so he is gonna outspeed me. Please don't use Double Team. For the love of God, Ivysaur, get through this paralysis, please. Thank God. Okay. Alright, that'll do. I'll slowly gain health back now. Should I poison him? Nah, I'm just gonna use Razor Leaf. There we go. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Alright, so that is it for the trainers. Now comes the fun part, aka the stupidest gym puzzle ever invented. So what we have to do here... Oh wow, first try. Yeah, in one of these trash cans you'll find a switch. Now, after you find the first switch, any adjacent trash can, horizontal or vertical from this trash can, could have the switch. So it could be this trash can here, this one, or this one. It's one of these three. And it's not this one. And yeah, this is the stupid part. The electric locks are reset, now we can go to this one. Oh, no, there's only trash here. So it's all RNG. It is the stupidest gym puzzle. I don't know who at Game Freak came up with the idea for this. I mean, trash can would be the best way to describe it because it is trash. Yeah, watch, now it's gonna be the last trash can I click on. Just watch. Yeah, see? There's only four left. Not that one. Not that one. Okay, it's this one, not the last one. Alright, come on, give it to me. Yes! Okay. That was actually kind of lucky. I actually got that pretty quickly. In my test runs, it would take me as long as like 10 minutes to get it. I'm not kidding. But anyway, we're going to move Simon up front here. And let's talk to Lieutenant Surge. The same as I'll do to you. Yeah, he tries to act all tough and whatnot. So yeah, this is Lieutenant Surge. He's the electric type gym. He's going to start off with his Voltorb. Now, I think the moves his Voltorb has, I think it's... I don't remember. I think he has Sonic Boom, Screech... Shockwave, and I want to say Thunder Wave. Maybe Tackle? Not entirely sure. But we're going to go ahead and use Dig. I'll p again, I'll put the movesets in the description for this guy. So yeah, I, kn I knew Sonic Boom was one of his moves, and that's what he used there. Alright. So yeah, that was easy for Voltorb. Yeah, my Pokemon are pretty over-leveled for this gym. Yeah, alright, especially with this next Pokemon here. He's got a Pikachu. His Pikachu knows Thunder Wave, Shock Wave, Quick Attack, and Double Team. That I know for a fact. So, I'm gonna go ahead and... Actually, no, I don't want to use Thrash, because then I'll use it on his next Pokemon. I'm gonna use Brick Break. And since I'm so high level and Pikachu has weak defenses, this should kill. Yeah, see? Alright. 
So yeah, that's his Pikachu. Now comes his Raichu. This is his main Pokemon, or his ace Pokemon. It's got the same moveset as Pikachu, so it has di or no, it has Quick Attack, Shockwave, Thunder Wave, and um, yeah, Quick Attack, Shockwave, Thunder Wave, and a Double Team. Now, both his Pikachu and Raichu love doing the same thing. They love to spam Double Team right away. Alright. Ooh, I am faster, though. That's nice. Raichu's fast. That's surprising. Yeah, see? This guy always spams double team right away, especially if you have a ground type out. And now he's trying to quick attack me. But good, I hit him first try. There we go. And it kills! So yeah, easy. This gym is incredibly easy if you have a ground type, even with double type. Oh, and I got static there. So apparently ground types can be affected by static. Thank god that didn't happen on uh, Pikachu. Otherwise that could have been really bad. But, no big deal. We just crushed Lieutenant Surge. We didn't even take damage. But yeah, having a ground type is very good for this gym. Because it means, like, especially a Pokemon like Nidoking or Nidoqueen. Because Quick Attack is the only move that can do damage to them. And... Yeah, he gives us the TM for a Shockwave, so yeah, we'll hold on to that once we get once we do get an Electric Pokemon. But yeah, anyway, yeah, he loves to use Double Team. But yeah, having a ground a ground type like Nidoking or Nidoqueen is useful because they have the Poison Point ability. So every time you get hit by Quick Attack, there's a chance Poison Point will activate, which basically means you can't lose no matter how many Double Teams they get up. So yeah. Yeah, Geodude and Graveler, like, you can catch them in Mount Moon. Like, they're also very useful for this gym, because then Quick Attack does, like, almost no damage. And, of course, Shockwave and Thunderwave do nothing. So you can just spam Magnitude with them until it, they eventually kill. And then Diglett's great as well, because it's a speedier ground type, so you can get attacks off faster. I'm actually surprised that my Nidoking outsped his Raichu, because, like... Raichu is really fast, like insanely fast. But yeah, like, if you don't have a ground type and you're having trouble with this gym, definitely pick one up. And you also have, like, you, you should have the TM for Dig, so maybe you teach that to somebody. Yeah, it's always a good idea to teach that to somebody before that gym. Yeah, and actually, if you can... If you catch a Meowth and level it to 28, it'll evolve into Persian, and Persian's great for the gym too, because it has the ability Limber, which prevents paralysis. Anyway, guys, yeah, and if you give Persian Dig, that'll make him even better. So yeah, Persian with Dig is actually really good, but yeah, I decided to use Nidoking. I'll go ahead and switch over, let's get Godzilla, like, actually, let's use Valkyrie for this next set here. Anyway, guys. I think I'm going to end the part here, so in the next part, we will move on to Route 9, and yes, you do need cut for this. You don't actually have to beat Surge to get through here, but I always do, because why wouldn't you? <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for this part, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it, and hit the subscribe button to... Yeah, hit the subscribe button for more videos to come in the future, and stay tuned for part 10. Until next time, I think it's part 10. It's either part 9 or part 10, I don't remember. I've lost count, but yeah, make sure to stay tuned for the next part, guys. So until next part, once again, my name is California Cougar, and always remember to stay California cool. And we'll go ahead and save the game here. Alright. Stay California cool. Peace! Yeah.